They were heading home from a Friday night out in downtown Austin when the attack started. Now two men are recovering after being hospitalized. And in a city known for its openness, police are being asked to find who's responsible and what motivated them. Boyfriends Tristan Perry and Spencer Deering say they were leaving the nightclub Rain at around 1245 Saturday morning and walking back to their car. They made it to near 7th and Red River when things took an ugly turn. Tonight, KXN's Alyssa Gord talked with a couple about the attack, and they have a message for others. That's right, Tom. It was about 3 a.m. when this all happened. This was something they wanted to go public about. We actually found it on their Facebook post. They believe they were attacked for openly displaying their love for each other. Um, we both had neck braces on. When we met Spencer Deering and Tristan Perry, they were holding hands. It's the same thing they said they were doing the night it all happened. I think we were like, you know, acting crazy. We weren't dr like drinking. We were just walking back to our car after we had a great night with our friends. That's when they say a man walked past them, saying a homophobic slur. Next, the man and his group of friends followed the couple, yelling more expletives, then getting violent. And that's when uh, Tristan took the first punch directly to his face, and that is uh, what broke his nose. He took two or three more punches, and then he was down on the ground, motionless, and he took a very hard kick to the back of his head. Spencer says he lunged at the attackers, but they immediately started punching him in the head, leaving him unconscious. A bystander called 911. Both Spencer and Tristan were taken to the hospital. Moving to Austin, I thought, oh, everybody's going to be so open-minded. PFLAG Austin says they've been hearing about attacks like this more and more. Austin, as a community, needs to uh, step up its game and prove that it's one of the most LGBTQIA-friendly cities in the country by deeds and not just by words. It shouldn't happen to anyone else. And it breaks my heart that it's probably going to until these guys are caught. The couple has lasting injuries and a lot of pain. Not to mention it's more frightening to go out in public. But they say they're going to keep doing it. Be aware of your surroundings, but don't change who you are as a person. Absolutely. Don't ever change who you are as a person and don't ever be afraid to, to go out there and explore the world uh, just as you are. Alyssa Gord, KXAN News. And now this couple says they have filed a police report. We reached out to APD about this case. We actually have just heard back from them moments ago. They say they are now looking into this case. Now, several times in the past few months, we have talked to Austin police about the downtown area. The assistant police chief who oversees that area says that the most common crime his officers are called out to there are disturbances or fights. Now, the couple who I talked with today said that they, uh, that they hope that if you saw what happened or if you have any surveillance footage that you come forward with that because they had some trauma to the head. They don't remember all of the details clearly, so they say anyone who has information that might be able to help police out, they ask that they come forward with that information. Tom. And you've got to hope that the police department just gets to the bottom of this really quickly. Absolutely. All right, thanks, Alyssa Gord, for us tonight.